right, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at Superbooth and I'm on what is unquestionably the loudest stand at Superbooth. <laughs> And one that is attracting the most attention. This is the Game Changer Audio stand. And I'm with Theodore from Game Changer Audio. Hello, Theodore. Yeah. Hi, everyone. And uh, the device that we're standing in front of is called the Motor Synth. Now, motor synthesis is something I've not come across before. Can you explain what, what it is? Yeah. So we are using eight electrical motors to generate the sound. So there are two ways how we are generating it. One is from the optical disks that are spinning around. We are putting some infrared light and the receiver receives, does it reflect or doesn't, does it reflect or doesn't from the optical disk. And the second way, you know, when the motor is spinning, it generates the electromagnetical field around it. So there's an inductor each, right to the each of the uh, motor that receives this electromagnetical field. Yeah. Wow, so in some ways it's similar in principle to a Hammond organ, but it's also different. Yes, because we are using like eight motors. We put the, the target frequency that we want to, uh, for example, want some notes, and then the motors are reaching the frequency. So they are spinning to the concrete frequency like that. And if we look through the little window at the top, we can actually see the motors spinning yeah. up to <laughs> the frequency, which yes, is exactly. amazing. Yeah. And once, once the tone wheel has produced this, sound, this source signal, it's processed yeah. then through another signal path. Is, is that right? Yeah, we are using os motors as oscillators. We can think about the motors as the main oscillators. And uh, there are two main oscillators, two main voices. Then they go to the filter section. You can apply uh, those voices to the filter. There are four types of filters uh, right here. Uh, and also there's a modulation section where you can modulate the envelope of the voice or the frequency of the voice and also the filter cutoff frequency. Yeah, and you can synchronize it all with the main clock, of course. Yeah. And some of these parameters are actually literally controlling the speed of the motor. Yeah, exactly. Naturally controlling the speed of the motor. So you can hear the acceleration sometimes. And, and also there's really interesting characteristics that when you are somewhere up in the highs, you're playing somewhere up, and then you kick the low note, you can, get, you can hear how the motors are breaking down and then kicking again to that low frequency, which is really cool. I think, yeah. Wow. Well, it's certainly been producing some extraordinary noises. So I'm really looking forward to the demo you're about to give us. Before we do that, I understand this will be available later on in the year? Yeah, yes, uh, it will be available at the end of the year, uh, but we are starting the crowdfunding on the 28th, uh, 29th of the May uh, in the Indiegogo, so yeah. Well, I'm sure that's a program a lot of people will want to get on board with because it's obviously been attracting a huge amount of interest. And do you have a price in mind for how much it will cost? It will be around 1,200. 1,200 euros? Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Theodore. Take it away. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, 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 wow. 